No, no. Uh, they're not at all. Uh, Steel, his character kind of bullies me relentlessly on just an emotional and physical level, any way he can think of, really. But then over the course of the film, the dynamic shifts a little bit as James realizes he's like twice Kevin's size, and maybe he doesn't have to be beaten up every day. But I think your character is very uh, has a lot of compassion for the kid who is like, Kind of bitchy, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? um, yeah. You know, J James is like excruciatingly awkward. Would never hurt a fly. So I, I, it doesn't come naturally to him. Even when he does try to bully Kevin, he can't. He doesn't know what to do. Um, I was like flicking his teeth and weird things like that. Yeah. Did you have a good time bothering him all the whole trip? Um. Yeah. It, it could be fun at sometimes, but it, it went from like slapping to punching to punching harder. And then we just went all the way up to throwing plastic bags over his head. Like, it just got crazy. Yeah, I still wake up in cold sweats thinking Steele's putting a plastic bag over my head. That was really terrifying, actually. No? Yeah, yeah. I was told it was going to be like a special thing, a, a special prop bag, like a plastic breathable safety bag. But that does not exist at all. It was just real plastic bags all day. What, yeah. what did you enjoy the most about vacation with uh, Ed and, and Christina as parents? Um, just being in the car for like, su like all day. After like two or three hours, we just kind of, you know, go a little crazy and uh, just looking up weird YouTube videos and doing anything to entertain us. And that was some of the best moments. Coming up with like really elaborate high fives. We work on high fives for just hours all day. Do you think this kind of trips bring, they bring families together or in the country? <laughs> Sure, man. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think that a lot of families uh, are going to relate to this. I certainly did from my just very dysfunctional family vacations growing up. I think that every family will see themselves in the Griswolds and that whatever can go wrong will go wrong. And even what you don't think could ever go wrong will also go wrong along the way. But that's kind of where the best memories come from and what brings you closer together. How did you accomplish this great uh, relationship so realistic? I mean, right now you seem like brothers, but you're more serious because you're doing a junket and you're not going like crazy. But <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, we had a lot of chemistry reads during the audition and uh, a lot of improv. And um, he's a nice guy. Nice guy. Thanks, I mean, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, he, we just kind of we were with each other for so long and just skating together and just kind of hanging out after set, yeah. How much are you like these characters, both of you? Not, 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 not at all, or a little, or. Well, James is just really, really dorky. Like, never had a conversation with a girl a day in his life. <laughs> Has a stack of journals a foot high. So I would like to think I'm not James, but you know, maybe deep down, I'm closer to James than I'd like to be. Um, I don't think I curse like a sailor um, <laughs> at home, but um. I might maybe like slap my brother every now and then, but then that doesn't really turn out too well. Usually, uh, I'll probably end up break, uh, like end up with a broken arm. But um, yeah, I, I don't think too much. <laughs> hopefully, do, hopefully. Do you think that nowadays there's a lack of communication about uh, between parents and kids? Like the kids are always like you know on their thing, and the parents don't understand. Is there a like a separation? Of cultures, it's or a heavy question, man. I don't know. What do you think? I think yeah. I think there can be like maybe kind of sometimes, but I don't think all the time. 